hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video we are going to discuss about threat and vulnerability management weaknesses section now if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about tvm dashboards whereas the core agenda of this video will be knowing how weaknesses are listed in tvm console what is breach insight? What is threat insight? How are CVEs listed for softwares and devices? What is a CVE detection logic and how to report inaccuracy? Lastly, we'll also check how to configure email notification for a specific type of vulnerability getting detected in your organization. To understand the content covered in this video, you must have basic understanding of what is CVE what a CVSS score and how exactly vulnerability management process works in a nutshell. So what you see now is the deck that I have used in our TVM video where I was discussing about all the options available on the console and in this video we are going to discuss about weaknesses. Weaknesses as we know are vulnerabilities and there is a standard to define vulnerabilities which is termed as CVE. Now, based on the impact, there is a CVSS score also defined for a vulnerability. Now, all the endpoints that you have onboarded will start sending signals to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And based on the inventory captured from this device, TVM will start highlighting weaknesses that exist in the softwares discovered on this particular device. Make sure you have seen the video of software inventory as well because in that video I have covered in lot more detail that under which condition a software is either supported or unsupported by TVM. Let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense. So what you see now is one of my browser where I have signed into security.microsoft.com and then I have clicked on endpoints, vulnerability management and then weaknesses. This default view will list down all the vulnerabilities that exist in your organization as well as all the weaknesses will be grouped into four different categories. The first one is vulnerability in my organization. Now if you will see the count, it is actually going to match with the count of the current populated list. The next one is exploitable vulnerabilities, then critical vulnerabilities and zero day vulnerabilities. Now, this is something which I have already covered in a lot more detail, but just a quick recap that all the information that is displayed on the console is typically mapped to a group. What do I mean by this? Let's say if you are a global admin. What you will get is the list of all the vulnerabilities that exist in all your endpoints. Whereas, if you are a member of a custom role, then you will get the list of vulnerabilities that exist in a specific device that belongs to a specific group altogether. But if you will remove this particular filter which says affects my organization, then you will get the access to the entire database maintained by TVM. Now let's talk about the other set of options available on the console. The first one is search. This option will help you to search vulnerability based on CVE ID or you can just type the name of the software and all the vulnerabilities related to that software will get listed. As of now, I have tried searching for Office and as you can see, all the vulnerabilities that are related to Office products are getting listed. Similarly, I can just type Chrome, then the list that I will get will be the list of all the vulnerabilities that are related to Chrome and which exist in my endpoints. The next one is filter, where you can select multiple values related to severity, age, thread exposed devices and tags, which does include zero day. In terms of customizing this view, you can choose the respective columns by clicking on the column button itself, but by default, all the columns will be selected. To know more about any vulnerability, all you have to do is just select one and then there will be a flyout on the extreme right that will let you know about more details related to vulnerability, likewise CVSS score, 
threat inside and exposed devices. The next thing that I would like to talk about is breach inside and threat inside. Breach inside basically means that with respect to a specific vulnerability that exists in your organization, whether there are any active alerts or not. So for this vulnerability, there are no active alerts that exist in my tenant. Same concept applies for threat insights as well. So let's say if there are any associated exploits available with this vulnerability detected in my organization, then in that case, this threat inside icon will get highlighted as red. To see the list of all the vulnerabilities which have active threat insights, just click on the filter icon and then select all the values related to threats and then click on apply. Now, as you can see, all the vulnerabilities which are getting listed have active threat in sight. And as you can see, the icon has highlighted as red. Now, for most of these threat insights getting highlighted here, there will be a threat analytics reports as well which can be easily accessed by threat analytics section. Now let's say for this particular threat inside mapped to this particular vulnerability, I want to see some more information. Then in that case, I will just click on this threat inside and then I will be redirected to a different console. Now this section will list down all the information that you typically need to know. Likewise, analysis report, mitigation actions, related incidents, and impacted assets. The next thing that I would like to talk about is how vulnerabilities are listed for softwares and devices. To view application specific vulnerability, you have to click on software inventory, then select a specific application, and then click on this option which says open software page. Now, once all the details are populated, click on this option which says discovered vulnerabilities and it will list down all the CVEs related to a specific software. Similarly, for checking vulnerabilities for a specific device, click on the device inventory and then select a specific device. Once all the details are populated, click on the option of discovered vulnerability and this will list down all the CVEs related to different softwares that exist on this specific device. And as you can see, if I will check the related software column, I'm getting different names. Now let's talk about what is CVE detection logic which is currently only visible in device specific view. So let's say if I click on any of the vulnerability that has been discovered in one of my device and then if I'll scroll down to the bottom, it shows me CVE detection logic. But the question is what exactly this CVE detection logic is all about. It's basically like software evidence, a sort of artifact that since this version of software has been detected in this particular device, so this particular CVE is getting mapped to discovered vulnerability section. The last thing that I would like to talk about is how to report inaccuracy. In order to report one, just click on any of the vulnerability and then click on report inaccuracy. Now you can select any of these options depending upon your use case and that's it. Just click on submit. Now there is one more aspect which is related to reporting inaccuracy itself that I wanted to highlight and that is depending upon the view where you are currently. So likewise, I have navigated to one of my device and then I have clicked on device discovered vulnerability and I have selected one of them and then I'm getting these three options which are like vulnerability does not affect the device or inaccurate vulnerability details or missing exploit information. But when you will try to report inaccuracy at the global level, I mean for your tenant, then these options will be different. Okay. So let's say if I go to weaknesses section and then if I click on any of these vulnerability and now if I click on report inaccuracy, as you can see, I'm getting vulnerability does not affect the organization. Now, this is moreover same concept which I've already covered in software inventory, 
video but i thought of just discussing it here as well okay now the last thing that i would like to talk about is how to schedule alerts or email notification when any specific type of vulnerability is detected for your enterprise so for that what you have to do is click on this option which says email notification settings and then click on this option which says vulnerabilities though it will be by default selected but let's say if you are here then you can simply click on vulnerability and then click on add a notification rule so let's say i'm going to name this as sample i'm going to type some random text here and then I'm going to select this option which says activate notification rule and then I'm going to click on next. Now you have to choose a scope whether you want this rule to be applied to all the devices or a specific device group. Since it's a sample, I'll keep all device group. And then here you can select the type of vulnerability, which if detected, a specific individual should be notified or a team should be notified. So let's say I want a notification whenever a vulnerability that has been detected has a CVSS score 9 or above or any other condition, likewise low, medium or high or let's say whether there is an exploit which has been verified or new public exploit or let's say exploit added to an exploit kit i mean any option that you select here will basically define a scope for the alert to be sent then in the next section you can just define the recipient address and that's it so this was all about knowing each and every option related to weaknesses section i have tried covering each one of them starting off with filters to search to customizing column notification setting device group a specific view everything which is practically related to weaknesses following upon which if you have any question please feel free to ask them in the comment section if you think that i have missed something do let me know in the comment section i'll try to include them in the upcoming videos so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about weaknesses and how exactly they are getting listed in TVM console. What is a breach inside? What is a threat inside? How are CVEs listed for softwares and devices? What is a CVE detection logic? How to report inaccuracy at the device layer or at the organization level itself? And how to configure email notification for a specific type of vulnerability getting detected in your organization? Now, for every weakness, there is a security recommendation and for every security recommendation, there is a remediation action. And that's the entry point for our next video. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.